So actually, where did we stop in the last class, children? Online yeah. classes and offline classes are totally different thing, right? So you have to tell me where I stopped in the last class. I no think exercises. Yes. No exercises. Where? Exercises, ma'am. Exercises. Exercises. We know what are the simple or the what are the four types of sentences or three types of sentences coming under the English grammar stream. And you know, uh, we have simple sentences, we have complex sentences, and we have compound sentences. Let me give you a small um, summary of what we have uh, completed here in the classroom situation. Point number one. Okay, simple sentences. So you are familiar with the four kinds of sentences, isn't it? Yes, ma'am. Four kinds of simple sentences. As you all know, we have declarative sentences, we have uh, imperative sentences, we have interrogative sentences, and we have a exclamatory sentence. All these four kinds of sentences are coming under the first type of sentence called a simple sentence. The reason for that is, you know, all the simple sentences, it consists or you know that it consists of one subject and one predicate and the predicate, but you can find only one finite verb. Such examples are examples for simple sentences, isn't it? Yes, ma'am. Okay, now come back to the second topic. We learned how to separate a main clause and sub clause, right? The, the important thing that you have to buy hard before separating a sub clause from the main clause is the subordinating conjunction. You know, conjunctions are joining words. We yes. use these conjunctions to combine, okay, to even two words. We can combine like uh, uh, Richard Melking and Rosin Suhara. So I'm using and two nouns. I'm using a conjunction for combining Richard Melking, a boy, and Rosin Suhara, a girl, right now, right? So I can use this conjunction to combine two nouns or I can use this conjunctions to combine two clauses. clauses so here we have got a term close right so what is a close children we are summarizing just uh, we are just uh, uh, learning it again once again we are actually refreshing our mind and brain with a lot of points right so what are closest children what are they the closest it's a part of the what are the closest i'm not getting any answers children please <laughs> Uh, it is a can anyone? Yes, yeah, Simon. Please don't raise your hand. You can crack your chalk here. No problem. It's a group of words which forms a part of sentence. It's a part of a long sentence. Excellent. A close. It is a part of a long sentence. As you all know, what is? Yeah, go the. It has a subject verb combination. Um, it has a subject. It should have a subject and verb in that part. If you have a main clause, if you have a sub clause in your hand, remember we need subject and verb in the main clause part, and we need subject and predicate or subject and finite verb in the subordinate clause also. A clause is a part of a long sentence. This point, and we should have a subject and predicate, or you can say that we should have a subject and finite verb in it. Okay. If if all these conditions are okay, we can call it has. And remember, sometimes it can stand alone. It is just like a short sentence, isn't it? But sometimes it cannot stand alone. It is always depending upon the other part of the sentence to get a complete meaning, right? So ba based on this, we have divided the clauses into two parts. We have main clause, clause, clause and we have sub clause in English grammar. Sub you know, it is easy to remember. You know, you learned uh, or you uh, you have completed a test paper on the topic sub clause and main clause. And in the examination, all of you scored nice mark because you know how to recognize a subordinating conjunction. Once it is there, you know, if, if a part of a sentence, if it is starting with a subordinating conjunction, such a part can be labeled as a subclose in English grammar. Always a subclose is starting with a subordinating conjunction. So why, what is the use of a subordinating conjunction in English grammar, children? We can join Yeah, we are using the subordinating conjunction to connect the clauses of equal or unequal rank children unequal rank. unequal, unequal, unequal rank. rank we are using the subordinating conjunctions to connect the clauses of unequal rank which means one should be main clause the other one should be the subordinate clause it should not be the same one so it is easy to recognize a sub clause because a sub clause is always starting with the subordinating conjunction now i need to know the list of subordinating conjunction who is ready with your answer can it yes, you can WH words. 
all the wh words as you all know all the wh words like what yes. or which or where when how who all these words whose all these words are examples for subordinating conjunction another list as if and some prepositions as if. can be also used a preposition how can a preposition be no, a conjunction no, 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 conjunctions 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 what are the conjunctions and and, and yes. is not a subordinating conjunction that, uh, if, you, if you label and as a subordinating okay. conjunction remember i'll give you a big cross mark you will not score a single point you will get a big zero so and is not a subordinating conjunction so what are we you said ma'am all the wh words are examples for a subordinating conjunction right but not no, no. before it is and... yeah yeah it is very easy if as if, as if even if though although even though because before then after th at that almost all these as soon as all these words while w h i l e while okay until yeah, till, all Whenever. these words are a few examples for subordinating conjunctions am i clear Then whatever and whenever. Ah, whatever. W H word, right? Whatever, whenever, wherever. All these examples are examples for subordinating conjunction. So if you are part of the sentence is beginning with any one of these subordinating conjunction, such a clauses can be called sub clause in English grammar. Am I clear? Yes, ma'am. Am I clear? If you get a long sentence, if the question is to recognize main clause and sub clause, first step is to recognize or to identify the subordinating conjunction in it. Okay. After identifying the subordinating conjunction, you can break or chop the sentence right from the subordinating conjunction. The part which is starting with the subordinating conjunction can be labeled as a sub clause. The remaining part, which can be, uh, I mean, which stands uh, or which uh, which acts like a main or a short sentence, can be called. Called as a main clause in English grammar, but remember, each part must have a subject and a finite verb. If it is a main clause, you should tell me which one is the subject of that main clause and which part uh, is called a finite verb there. Or in the sub clause also, you have to you know that it is starting with a subordinating conjunction, but it should have a subject and finite verb in it also. Am I clear? Yes, ma'am. Yes, okay, yes, ma so let me come into the point called the complex sentences. Now you know what are clauses right now. You said a clause is a part of a long sentence. We have two types of clauses. You said you said main clause and sub clause. You said and what is a main clause? You said main clause which can stand alone, which acts like depend. a short sentence. Uh, we should yeah, not put a full stop after a clause, right? If you put a full stop after a clause, we can call it as a sentence. It should not be a clause. So avoid putting full stop. After a close, clear? Am I clear? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma Am I clear? Okay, fine. And again, you said, okay, ma'am. I know what are the list of subordinating conjunction, and the subordinating conjunction help us to recognize a sub clause in a given sentence. Remember, children, it is easy to recognize a complex sentence because a complex sentence is a sentence which consists of one main clause, one sub clause, and this one main clause and sub clause are joined with the subordinating. in conjunction this also you are familiar with right a subordinating conjunction is used to combine the clauses of unequal rank what do you mean by the clauses of unequal rank one should one be main clause and, and one the other one should be the sub clause so sub we are using a subordinating conjunction to connect a main clause with the sub clause or a sub clause with the main clause right we can attach a subordinating conjunction a conjunction uh, used for uh, which is a uh, used for normally attach Attaching the clauses of unequal rank. So one is main clause, the other one is a sub clause. You know, sub clause is starting with the subordinating conjunction. So we can attach with the help of a subordinating conjunction. The sub clause can be attached along with the main clause. Such sentences are called complex sentences in English complex grammar. Sentences. Clear? Yes, yes ma'am. Am I clear? Yes, ma'am. Should I repeat it? No, no ma'am. Okay. No, Now ma the next one is yes, called compound sentence. Uh, Angelina Martin. Angelina Martin. Can you repeat that again? Oh, why not? Uh, you know, complex sentence. Okay, a complex sentence. If you if you if you are thorough with the subordinating conjunction, you will be able to recognize a complex sentence because we are using or we are using this conjunction, subordinating conjunction, to connect the main clause with the sub clause or sub clause with the main clause, isn't it? 
you know uh, sub clause starting with the subordinating conjunction so that part can be attached with the main clause and a sentence with the one main clause one or more sub clauses connected to the main clause with the subordinating conjunctions are called a complex sentence am i clear yes ma'am yes, ma okay yes, very clear chinmay yes, am i clear or not chinmay my son am i clear or not Yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes, yes. So, what about uh, who is this? Jake Sabi? Is it John, John Sabi? Yes, John Sabi. Okay, okay. Catherine. Catherine, am I clear? Am I clear, Catherine? Catherine, can you hear me? I think. Now, she told us that we can't hear. Yes. Jovan, Jovan, am I clear? Yes, ma'am. Okay, Pavitra. Yes. Okay. So let me discuss about the topic called a compound sentence right now. The third type of sentence called a compound sentence. You know, you are you are all familiar with the conjunctions called coordinating conjunctions, right? Coordinating conjunctions. As you all know, these coordinating conjunctions are used to, to connect the clauses of an equal or equal rank. Equal. equal rank equal rank which means that we are using these uh, coordinating conjunction to connect the clauses of equal rank which means we are connecting two main clauses with uh, or we are combining two main clauses with a coordinating conjunction if you find a coordinating conjunction in a sentence uh, such a sentences can be labeled as compound okay. sentence okay it is easy to recognize because a compound sentence consists of more than one main clause connected to each other with the support of a coordinating conjunction are you familiar with the coordinating conjunctions children fan boy yes. are you all familiar with the coordinating yes. conjunctions children yes, fan boy fan boys not fan girls right Yes. Here in the classroom, all the boys are sitting with fan. What fan? A paper fan, a Chinese fan. What is that? Uh, you tell me. What is a fan, fan boy? It's Usually, that. girls used to fan. wear beautiful dresses and uh, just uh, uh, fan, just using the fan like this, right? Like a China China men or yes. something like. But here, all the boys are using fan. So fan boys, isn't it? Remember yes. the word. Just see me how I am just using the fan. Okay, I don't know a paper with me. Otherwise, I could have shown you the way of uh, using of these fans. So we can call it as a fan boys. What are these? Yeah, the the Can you tell me what are the fan fans. boys used in English grammar? For, 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 and, 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 but, and, 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 but, 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 so, so, these are fan boys. But apart from these fan boys, we have a few other conjunctions which can be labeled as a coordinating conjunctions. What are they, Rudra? Rudra is actually showing, I think she is, uh, she belongs to a political party called Congress. She is raising her palm and showing me I am Congress. Okay. And so, and so, excellent. And so, and so, else, else. Or else, or else, either or, either or, neither or, neither <laughs> nor, uh, otherwise, otherwise, still. What is it? Still. still. I'm not getting still. Still, still, S T I L L still. See, till T I L L till is a coordinate subordinating conjunction, but still. Is a coordinating conjunction. So, if you find any one of these conjunctions are used to combine two main clauses, such a sentences can be called as compound sentences. Am I clear? Yes, ma'am. Am I clear? Simple, complex, sentences. compound sentences are clear. You know how to divide main clause and subclause from a given set of sentences, isn't it? We have done a few exercises here in the class to separate main clause and subclause. Have we done an exercise for identifying simple, complex, compound sentences? Yes, now you gave the yes. questions and told to do it at home. So we haven't discussed any answers? No, ma'am. Okay. So how many of you have uh, uh, still with the answers in your hands? You did it. Only Pavitra. Uh, Agne is actually scratching his head. Ma'am, I didn't write, but I have the questions in my hand. Okay. Isha, just the smile on uh, her face. She's not even looking at my eyes. Um, you have you completed me. your work, Isha? Before? Um, no. No. I can read it from your face. No. 
Okay. Ah, yeah, Brightlin Lijo. Okay, let me start from Brightlin Lijo. Brightlin, can you please read me uh, the first question for me? Chinmai, excellent. Those who did there are awesome. I'll definitely add your behavior. In your classroom, we kept a behavioral chart. So if you if you did it, definitely I'll give you plus points in the behavioral chart over here. Okay. So brightly, Lijo, start now. First question. I want you to tell me whether your sentence is a simple, complex, or a compound sentence. Let us start from the first question. Those who missed the question, this is the right time for you to copy it. Okay. When you read it, read it very louder because this can be used for others to copy. Are you ready, children? Those who haven't written, are you ready to copy the questions right now? Yes. Okay. Yes. Right, Lynn. Tell me the first question. Right, Lynn, I cannot hear you. Sorry? Are you able to hear what he's saying? No, 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 it's not my problem only. I think it's your audio problem. You check your audio. Check your mic. No way. No, don't worry. Don't worry. Okay, Sreya, could you please start with the first question? Yes, ma'am. How beautiful the butterfly is. Sreya? How beautiful the butterfly is. Sreya, are you speaking? Yes, ma'am. Yes, 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 but I cannot, I don't know, I'm facing a few problems here. How beautiful the butterfly is. Okay, okay, she's actually pointing me, how beautiful that butterfly is with the green wings, right? She has yes. a beautiful green wings with the black long hair, who is wearing a kind of yes, antenna. I have an antenna here, I have an antenna. Richard, I have an antenna. antenna. That's a headphone. Ah, uh, yeah, my antenna is my headphone. I'm drinking uh, nectar. Okay. So, uh, Sriya? Sri yes, ma'am. Ma'am, that is a simple sentence. It is a very simple sentence. What kind of sentence is it? Exclamatory mm -hmm. sentence. Excellent. It is an exclamatory sentence. Uh, so, we can label it as because it has only one uh, uh, sing, uh, single finite verb in it, right? So, you can simply uh, label it as a simple sentence. Very good. Second sentence, Jinmai. Can you please read it for me? The second sentence. She has made a beautiful painting. Could you please repeat? She has made a beautiful painting. Mm, he has made a beautiful painting. Who has made it? You have to name the person. You said he has made. Who made it? Not she, not he, she. Who made it? You, I myself. She, she. Ma I myself made it, right, Chinmay? Okay, come on, go on. Simple sentence. Why is it simple, Chinmay? What made you to say it is a simple sentence? You have to justify your answer. Ma'am, this is simple. 100 percentage, this is coming under the simple yes. sentence. Why? What is the reason? Why you label it as a simple sentence? Because there's so many. There are no subordinating conjunction. Yeah. No, con no, no, see, very simple. Ma'am, there are, there, you cannot no, find no. any subordinating conjunction. You cannot find any coordinating conjunction. That is correct. But you tell me why it is called a simple sentence. What are the special features of a simple sentence? I've told you, children, all the four kinds of sentences are coming under the simple sentence, right? Because it has only one subject. It has only one finite verb. You can find only one finite verb. If it is a complex and compound sentence, as you know, in the main clause also, you will get one finite verb. From the yes. subordinate clause also, you will get another yes. finite verb, right? Yes. So there won't be not, not only one finite verb, you can find more than one. Right? So the, those cannot be um, in a labeled as a simple sentence. But this, he has made a, a beautiful painting, has made as the only finite verb in the sentence, right? So this is actually coming under a simple sentence. That is the reason. As you said, there are no coordinating or subordinating conjunctions used here. Very tricky. Okay. But it has only one finite verb in it. And also, it is a declarative Do you have a question? Sentence. So second one is a simple sentence. Those who miss these knots, Ma please add the these questions. One? Isha, third third question. Ma'am, what is the first answer, ma'am? First and second uh, simple sentences. Okay, ma'am, thank okay. you. Okay, Isha, third question. Read the third question and tell me whether it is simple, complex or compound. The boy ran away. 
The boy ran away. My goodness, I think you had a fight with him. No, I didn't. You attacked him. No. That is why he ran away. Um okay. Um Agreed. I think the sentence is a simple sentence. This is a simple yes. sentence. Why? Because, because it has a finite verb in it. It has only one finite verb. As Chinmay said, no conjunctions, ma'am. You cannot find even coordinating or a subordinating conjunction in it. Fine. Very good. Adil Shafiq, your next question. Fourth question. Adil, switch on the lights. You're sitting in a dark room. I'm not watching a horror movie here. Yes. Adjust uh, the camera because it's not properly lit. Adil Shafiq, read the fourth question. No way. So Agni, fourth question. Okay. Priyanka ordered lunch for me because I was feeling hungry. Aha. Uh -huh. So ordered lunch, you're not preparing at home. Okay, no worries. So you tell me what type of sentence is it? Complex sentence. Why it is complex in my? Sorry, Agni. Because, because it has... Because, because it's a subordinating conjunction. Correct, you are right, my son. You are using two because together. We cannot use because. We cannot start a sentence with because. Because, because is a conjunction. So here it is starting uh, right from the close, right? From the beginning of a subordinate close. That is why because is used in the sentence. So this is going under the complex sentence, not a simple or a compound sentence. Excellent. So because, underline because. And split the sentence into two half. You can split uh, the sentence up to because and write from because another one. Write from because a subordinating injunction. You can mark it as a subordinating clause or a subclause. Angelina Martin, Mom, next can, sentence. Can you repeat Mom, can you, uh, uh, it's a complex sentence. It's a complex sentence, Anandesh. Because of a subordinating injunction. So it is coming under the uh, type of sentence called a complex. No, ma'am, I'm asking after, before, what is the sentence? What is the... Okay. Agni, could you please repeat the sentence? Priyanka ordered lunch for me because I was feeling hungry. Mm. Priyanka ordered lunch for me, right? Yes. Yes. Ma'am, yes. you asked me, ma'am. Yes. Yeah. Fifth question. Angelina. Angelina Sudha, uh, okay, ma Sudha went home and took rest. Oh, oh, Sudha went home and took rest. Please check the uh, sentence. Please write the sentence. Sudha went home and took rest. Okay, what type of sentence is it? Simple. Is it a simple, complex, or a no, compound simple. sentence? Simple sentence. Ma'am, it is a... Uh, hmm. Compound sentence. It is coming under the compound sentence. Why? Reason? Because you said the correct have... answer, but you tell me the reason. Why? Ma'am, because it has a main clause and a subclause. How can you identify if it is a main clause and subclause? We cannot call it as a compound sentence, right? We have to label it as a complex oh, sentence, okay. right? Yeah. So you said, ma'am, Sudha uh, went home and took rest. You said it is a compound sentence. I said it is a correct answer. But here you are saying me, ma'am, it has a main clause and subclause. So I cannot use a coordinating injunction. If that is the case, I can use only subordinating yes. injunction. Yes. If the subordinating yes. injunctions okay, are used to join yes, clauses, we can call it as a complex sentence. But here I said it is a compound sentence. Why? Yes, uh, yes ma'am. It has a conjunction called and. So what is and in it? What type of conjunction? Is, is it coordinating or a subordinating injunction? Coordinating. So what are coordinating injunctions? Fanboys. Fanboys. One among the fanboys, right? Fanboys yes, are so usually these are used for combining the clauses of equal rank. Two main clauses can be connected with each other using a coordinating injunction and so that it is going under the sentence type called a compound sentence, right? So and underline and and write coordinating conjunction. Okay, so we can call it as a compound a sentence. Okay, fine. Yes. Two sentences, ma'am. Sudha went home, 
Uh, Ma'am, it connects two sentences. Sudha it went can. home and, and Sudha took rest. rest. Yeah, Sudha absolutely. We can split it into two short sentences, right? Two simple sentences. Okay. So, a coordinating injunction can also be used to, to connect uh, two simple sentences. As I have told you earlier, a main clause can be called as a short sentence because it has all the features of a simple sentence, isn't it? So, a coordinating injunction can also be used to, to connect two simple sentences, isn't it? So this one is an example for a compound sentence. Okay, next one. Yes, Pavitra. Pavitra, it's your turn. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, Angelina. Just one second, Pavitra. Okay. What was the answer of the fourth one, ma'am? I could have. I had a. Yeah. You please. You tell me. You read the sentence and you tell me. Anyway, we have completed. Not lunch for me because I was feeling hungry. Ah. So what conjunction is used there? Can you identify the conjunction used? What is it? Because. Correct. So what is because? What type of conjunction is it? Coordinating conjunction. Is it a coordinating conjunction? So you have to tell me where it is there in the fan boys. No, ma'am. Subordinating conjunction. It is a coordinating conjunction or a subordinating conjunction? Subordinating conjunction. Subordinating conjunction. So if you find a subordinating conjunction in a sentence, then what is it? Complex sentence. You are right. It is a complex sentence. So you said the answer. Very good. So Pavitra, it's your turn now. I know that children are fond of eating sweets. I know. Well, I, I know, know that children are fond of eating. I sweets. knew. I knew. I knew. Not I know. No, I, no, knew. I know. Okay, I know. You, you. Ma please, I half know. of you are saying that it is new, and other half is saying. I know. I know. I know. No, I, I agree. Know. I know that. You are right. Children are fond of eating sweets. Oh, isn't it? Okay. Ma'am, this sentence is a complex sentence. Why? Ma'am, because that is the subordinating conjunction. Exactly. It is, you know, you can find two uh, finite verbs from these sentences or this sentence, simple sentence, sorry, this uh, complex sentence. As you all know, THAT that is used as a subordinating conjunction and that acts like a Conjunction to connect two clauses, clauses of uh, unequal rank, right? So such a sentence is an example for complex sentence. So underline yes, that and write subordinating conjunction. Yes, so how did you split it into main clause and subclause, Pavitra? Excuse me, ma'am. Um, ma'am, I know that is the main clause. No, 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 I know, no, no. I know is the main clause. I know, I know yes, is I clause. know is the main clause. Main and clause. that, that the children are, are fond of, of uh, chocolates or sweets is a subordinate clause. Sub Remember, a subclause is always starting with the subordinating conjunction. If you by heart a subordinating conjunction or the list of subordinating conjunction, it is easy for you to recognize subclause from the set of sentences and also the complex sentences. Clear? Am I clear? Yeah, so I no by yeah. heart. By heart. Okay. Next no, question. Who is ready with the answer? No, no, I have yes, a Manu. Manu. Yes, Manu. Yes, Manu. Grant it. Ma 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 can you repeat the sixth sentence? I know that the children are fond of sweets. Am I correct, Pavitra? Yes, it is it. I am. Man, children is there. Children? Man, in between the sentence, children is there. Hmm. Manu, Manu can you read the next question? Ma'am, I don't. Ma'am, I was absent that day. Okay, okay. Next Thank one. You. Rohit, Rohit ke jayan. Rohit, read the next question. One second, one second. Rohit, this is your turn now. I don't have the question with me. Why? You cannot say that I was absent. I saw you here running around everywhere in the swimming pool, on the horse, in the playground, everywhere. Even in the classroom many times. Okay. Who is ready with the next question? I think Anandesh is ready. Anandesh? Mama, I was absent. I was absent. Okay. Bhuvana Lakshmi, do you have the questions? No, ma'am. No. Now, yes. Yes, Cheryl. Yes, Cheryl. Read the next question. Can I? Ma'am, the question is, she cannot even read or write, but she pretends to be highly educated. Could you please yeah. repeat the sentence once again? Slowly, because a few she children, they missed. Okay, ma'am. She cannot even read or write. But she, she cannot even read or write, right? Yes, but she yeah. pretends 
to be highly educated ah but she pretends to be highly educated very shrewd person right she cannot even read and write but she pretends to be highly educated the reality of the life isn't it okay sheryl so Have if this is the case identify the type of sentence compound because but is there compound why it is compound sheryl ma'am because but is there what is but ma'am but is a coordinating uh, conjunction could you please repeat but is a coordinating conjunction correct but is a coordinating conjunction so we can call it has a compound sentence compound. because a coordinating conjunction is used to connect two main clauses right so but can be underlined and can be marked as a subordinate sorry coordinating conjunction and uh, the type of sentence is uh, compound sentence very good who is ready mom i have done angelina yeah mom in that sentence we can get another coordinating angelina i am unable to hear you properly mom can you hear me yes mom in that sentence we can see another conjunction also no you can find one more conjunction you tell me which conjunction is there in that sentence or or ah huh? or it is all a conjunction my dear you tell me the route to come to your home i'm going to give you additional classes no ma'am i just thought like it is oh, all a conjunction angelina you check the list of some ma'am o r ma'am o r or 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 is yes. used there ജുമാം This is the use. Neither nor is a negative usage. Like a not a not is a negative word, right? So neither nor is a negative usage. Either or optional. See, wait, 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 children. You you might be having a doubt regarding this. So please listen carefully. Either Angelina or Jovan is available. Means. If Angelina is available, Jovan is not available. If Jovan is available, Angelina is not available. But if you use neither nor there, neither Angelina Jones nor Jovan is available. Means you both are not available. Angelina Jones is not available. Jovan is also not available. Clear? Clear. This is the use. This is the difference. Okay. I think uh, uh, we can go for the next question. Who is ready? I think Sri Shankar. He was raising his hand for a long time. So, now Sri Shankar, please. Yeah, Sri. Hello. Yes, ma'am. Hmm. Yeah. I think Chinmay. Are you not uh, eating anything? Your amma is standing behind you and observing the classes. Is she learning English grammar? Is she a threat for me? No. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Can I read? Yes. Why not? You have to play really well to win the this match. We have to play really. We have to play. That is the ninth question. He have to read the eighth question. Okay, Sri Shankar, please stick on with the eighth question. Could you please read the eighth question? Yes, ma'am. I can. Yes, the eighth question is. Hmm. Uh, eight question. Hmm. Quick. You missed the eighth question. Yes. Okay. No worries. In Who is here to help him? Yes, Angelina Martin. Please read the eighth question for Sri Shankar. And Sri Shankar, you can read the ninth question. Okay. No worries. Okay, Angelina. Eighth question. In spite of being very old, this car is in good condition. Hmm. Yes, yes. I got a good question here. Is it a simple, complex, or compound sentence? Ma'am, this is a um complex sentence, ma'am. How can you say that, ma'am? Because it has this in that sentence. This T H I S this is this yes, a conjunction? 
Is this a conjunction, Angelina? This is a demonstrative pronoun or this can be used as a demonstrative adjective. It is not a conjunction. So, Shreya, are you ready with the answer? Ma'am, I didn't get the answer of this question. Okay. How, is no, that can, anyone can got the answer for this? Ma'am, I think... It is a simple mm -hmm. sentence because in yes, spite of, in spite, all these words are actually prepositions. Okay. All these words are actually prepositions. Okay. These are not conjunctions. Yes. Um, it also looks like imperative sentence. Yeah. Okay. Fine. So remember, in spite of and all are actually the prepositions used in the sentence. Those are not conjunction and don't get confused also. So this now, one yes, is an I example for a simple uh, sentence. Uh, children, it is almost time to end the class today. Mm -hmm. I enjoyed uh, because almost all are actively participating today. I'm happy and glad to meet you again here on the sorry in the classroom situation. Let me take attendance and I I I'm going to say goodbye to you today. We'll we. We'll definitely meet in the next class and we'll solve all the question answers then. Okay. So okay. let me let me take attendance. Adina Dasnayar. Present, ma'am. Present. Agni. Present. Alam Siyan. He was there.